Hey, good point, pal. I knew that my detective intuition was telling me something. Detective's intuition. Right. Yep. Do you, do you know about it? It's a special feeling that all the day. We don't have time for this conversation right now. Let's return to the investigation. Oh, pal, you interrupted me. I was all onto something. Huh? Why? Why are these plastic bags scattered all around? Those bags were are are for keeping evidence safe, pal. I know that's much, detective. Oh, you sure are good at that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You sure are good at. Bah! And I can't. I'm so tongue tied right now. You sure are good at this stuff, aren't you, pal? Normally, I'd be happy when somebody compliments me. But when. When is this guy? Anyways. The. Could these plastic bags be evidence of a fight between the two men? I'll keep it in my my mental notes. Now to inspect Mr. Faraday's gun. Looks like Mr. Faraday died while ho holding the gun in his right hand. So he was shot. So he shot Mr. Rell, then fell on top of him while still. A gripping onto the gun? Yeah, I guess it's... That does seem kind of strange, huh? I mean, how... I mean, why would Mr. Faraday know how to fire a gun? It isn't exactly rocket science. Even I know how to pull a trigger. <sighs> Sadly. Though I doubt I'll ever need to use one on purpose. I hope I never have to fire a gun I either, sir. Or either, pal. But it sure does look cool to hold a gun in, in your hand. In your hands. It appears that the police screen procedures need a thorough review. Anyway, I should jot down some notes of, about the handgun in Mr. Faraday's hand. Handgun data jotted down in my organizer. And uh, the knife? Looks like Mr. Rell died with, with a knife in his hand. There's some blood still on it. Then he must have used it as a weapon. Yep, no doubt about it. Was Mr. Faraday carrying this on his personal? Did he did he bring this as a piece of evidence for the trial? Or did he bring it with a very different intention in mind? I should draw some notes down about it though. I'm just gonna examine everything. Everything in the in the crime scene, I mean. This decorative yeah, big big bad. This decorative plant foliage is quite nice. It actually it's actually soothing to be around. Hmm. Perhaps I should purchase one from from my room. This window is open and <laughs> there's a fresh flowery scent in the air. It, but it's not of lemons though. <laughs> the, the flowers in the garden that down there are so gross and ghastly. Do you think maybe you should, could try offering something useful for a change? 
At least there's no way someone can escape through this window panel. They want to wake up and smell the flowers after a fall from the third floor. Aren't you willfully ignoring the fact that there are also iron bars on the window? Yeah, I guess that there's that too. Either way, there's... No one could get through these windows, right? They could... They thought of everything when they were des designing this court courthouse. Very nice. Okay, Mr. Bad, what do you have to say? Detective Bad, do we have any thoughts on, on the case? Faraday and Rel. It looks like they kill each other. It looks like they kill each other to me. Although, there are very few things that just don't seem right. Hmm. What could they be? Hmm. Why don't you try thinking on your own first before you bother me, boy? What? Oh, now you've been downgraded to just boy? There's some stuff in the bag. There's some stuff in, some stuff in the bag, pal. I suppose it was Mr. Faraday's bag. I probably, it's probably the trial evidence I was supposed to collect for him. From him. This is the evidence. Uh, I better not touch it, pal. I'll leave fingerprints on it. Did you not? Did you just not pay attention to anything? You just don't pay... Ah. Do you just not pay attention to anything you do? There's some plastic bags stacked up on the table. There's a tea set too. But there doesn't seem to be any signs of a disturbance. Yeah, the table's all neat and tidy. Maybe they were super quiet in their scuffle. After all, I didn't hear anything in front from the hallway, you know. Maybe a plastic maybe the plastic bag scattered on the floor would throw in those holes. Maybe. There's some plastic bags stacked up on the table. She said, oh yeah, da da da. Okay. Um. Franzi, do you find out anything? Ah, I see. Did you figure something out? This is, this is a competition, Miles. And as such, I appreciate it if you didn't talk to me. <sighs> As you wish. Yeah, it's talk to you can't talk to policemen. What? Okay, let's uh do some basic logic here. Let's see, an entirely table with the bag strewn about. That's that could, uh, do something, right? That could be something, right? Yeah, there we go. There's a very tiny pile of plastic bags on the table. And yet, a, per a portion of them wound up and scattered on the floor as well. It's not... It's not likely that the ones that on the floor were stacked over during the struggle. In which case, there must there must not be another explanation as to how they got there. Another reason? It, I believe it's possible that the blood on the outside of the bag is related somehow. Hey, please get the blood away from me, pal! Detective Gumshoe, whose blood is in on this bag? 
Um, hold on. Let me ask the let me ask the lab guy. Alright, please hurry. Wait till you wait till you get a load of this, pal. It's Mr. Faraday's. Oh, and the technician said that they didn't find anything out else in in or on the bag either. Hmm. And it would appear that the bag is a very important piece of evidence. Okay, if you say so, I'll leave it in your hand in your hands, pal. Nothing to logic here. Um Yeah, pal. Can we ask you are well, we good? Um What? Is it? Yeah. Oh, we didn't examine the TV yet. <laughs> Duh. Whoa! What? What is this, Detective Gumshoe? My my TV at home is so tiny compared to this one, pal. Then perhaps you should purchase a more normal-sized television, like this one. Oh, let me see here. Wow, this thing is huge! Ah! Oh, and way too noisy! You're- you're see noisy one, Scruffy! Don't touch it! You'll get your fingerprints all over it! But, I didn't touch it. And how did it turn on? The preservation of the crime scene is the, the foundation of the- of detective work. The foundation, huh? Sounds like something the the rookie here needs to needs to what needs to show up shore up on. Okay, maybe we can talk to Gumshoe about this. Yeah, pal. Okay, never mind. Maybe we should um present everything from. That we collected to come shoot. <laughs> As always, you need to present your attorney's badge to everybody. Hey, so, so they have to prosecute his badge, huh? You mentioned that you've only recently become a detective, did you not? You've got it. I'm a brand new spanking. I'm a brand spanking new detective. Hmm. So that probably means. So that means you've probably never seen a real prosecutor's badge, right? If you so happen to want to take a look, I may. I just may be able to take. Make your day. You don't have to go through the trouble, pal, because a real man has a police badge. And someday I'm gonna be an ace detective, just like Detective Bad. Capcom, get on it! Richard Gumshoe, ace detective. Get on it, Capcom! Did I say something did I, did I say something wrong, pal? That's your sense of an investigation detective. What about this KJ8 into overview? Do you have an, any insights on this detective don't you? Um, well as a detective I I rather see some, some something that's actually related to the case, pal. And here I thought this was related, though. So, you know. What about your testimony? <laughs> That's the whole truth right there, pal. So you were guarding the door to 